Welcome back to another episode of Hype Shoes and Booze, where, as always, we will be checking out some of the latest sneakers. One take, no script, no cutting, just start no to finish. Yeah, no filter and really no plan. Mm -hmm. We sit down. I have obviously unboxed these ahead of time, but we haven't discussed what we think of them and we never do. We just start the camera and see what happens. So customary beverage check. I am drinking a, oh boy, I am drinking a this. I'm not even gonna try. I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm from the South, so we'll call it a July India Pale Ale. Really, I would call it a, a Jai, a Jai Ali. Yeah, I don't know. India Pale Ale, Cigar City Brewing. It's okay. It's not my favorite. They didn't have what I really wanted, which was a Rogue. Dead Man's Ale, which I like better. Anyway, what are you having? I'm drinking Mayomi, a Pinot Noir um, from California. It is my favorite as of late. It's my first Pinot Noir I ever tried in my life. Well, first red, that mm. I actually really enjoyed. Then I forgot about it. And recently he brought it home and I fell in love with it again. So, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the shoes. It's been five months since we uploaded our last video. And I wish I could tell you, <laughs> dear loyal subscribers, that we're gonna do better and we're gonna upload content all the time. But we're I, so busy. We're I just can't promise pandemic. that. Yeah, I just can't promise that. You know, we upload when we upload. I get really tired of all the Yeezys that come out. They're all exactly the same. Air Jordans that come out, they're all exactly the same. And I like them. But what are we gonna do? We're gonna unbox them and then say, hey, here's a new Yeezy. It's the same exact one as the last one, just different color. Yeah. But that brings us to these two very special pairs of shoes. These are the Nike Dunk High Bodega. Now, this shoe, they dropped online and they created a custom website that says no robots please or something like that. Anyway, I bought it, I got in line got through the queue, checked out, and there's a friends and family pair, which no one really knew anything about. Inside the box for these was a pack of baseball cards, which we'll look at in a minute. So apparently, according to the, the sneaker internet news websites, apparently there was a one in 20 chance, a 5% chance that your order of these got a pack of baseball cards included. Inside the baseball cards was a voucher that I emailed to Bodega and they sent me these for free. I paid $15 for shipping. This shoe trades at, I, I should have checked before this video, last I looked maybe 250, 300. That shoe trades around 800, $900 and they sent it to me for free. So cool of a thing for Bodega to do. One, it was cool that they were able to stop bots and shut down bot traffic completely. I don't think any bots worked on this pair. And then two, obviously I feel super lucky to have been selected to buy these. So we're gonna look at the baseball cards. We're gonna talk about these shoes. I love them. These give me, my first impression when I saw in pictures was these give me Jeepers Creepers vibes. Because of the stitching? Yeah, it just looks like a Jeepers Creepers kind of shoe. What do you think? I guess I could see that, yeah. Yeah, there's all this yeah. stuff going I on. I imagine like a horror film. Yeah. Like the lips sewed together. Oh yeah. Sorry, it's getting dark here, but yeah. <laughs> I yeah. see it. It's a cool shoe. It's really cool. So I want to talk about, before I get into the actual shoes and we talk about them, I, I want to show you what's in the box. So inside each box is this red bandana. Nike Bodega bandana. I think it says Bodega on it somewhere. Oh yeah, it says right. Nike Bodega right here. This is also cool because everyone's really into, ma uh, not masks, but uh, bandanas right now, especially for masks. Oh, you can yeah. just like fold it a certain way and then wrap it around. So while you're talking about this, I'm going to make this into a little, you know, how you wear it. Yeah. You wear it like this if you're going like somewhere cold. You could. You could be a cowboy Indian, you know? <laughs> you <laughs> could. Put it over here. Hello. <laughs> so inside the box, obviously other shoe, but there's these alternate laces, which are a leather type of material. And let's see if you can hear them. So it's alternate laces that can go in here. So by default, 
you have these laces, which aren't your typical, these aren't, these really don't feel like typical Nike laces either. You can see there's a, no, a sort of no. wax it's material. It's suede, it's kind of suede. And they're flat, totally flat. There's a little bit of stretch to it, but you know, overall really cool shoe. The, I'll be honest, the material on these is not as good as I hoped. Oh really? In pictures, I thought this looked super premium. It's okay. Compared to all the Jordans I've ever seen that you brought home, I'd say these are the most premium. These look way different than any other one. The other ones you show me are all the same. Well, these but are these are definitely aren't, nicer quality. But these aren't Jordans. They just but they look like them. I know, I know they. You're do. telling me these aren't Jordans. Th they're not Jordans. So <laughs> loyal, right loyal viewers, <laughs> I think the exact same thing that she just yeah. said out loud. And I don't know how people I mean, don't talk like about this all the time. The Dunk High looks exactly like a Jordan one. I'm, I'm actually really confused. So this whole time you thought these were a Jordan yeah, one? Yeah, because it looks yeah, identical. It does, it really does. It looks exactly like a Jordan one. It's a Dunk High. No, it's not. You know the Community Garden Lows that I have? That's a Dunk Low. Okay. So this is a high top no, version. Yeah, it, I know. It's not a Jordan, but it looks well, exactly like a Jordan. Well, they didn't get created enough, you know, because it's the same. Yeah, it is the same. But I I was a little disappointed in the material. It looked so premium online. It feels, it, premium. It feels great. You think it's good? Yeah, I think it's really high quality. Well, and like the switch with me. The tortoise um, swoosh is my favorite part. Okay, yeah, that is cool. I and, like this one better than that one. But of course, that's the special pair. Yeah, it's also the colorway too. It was the dark colors are nice, but this is just like very um, clean. It's just like the light gray, a little darker bit of a gray right here and white. I mean. These are colors you can wear to everything. And that's definitely the more desirable yeah. colorway. I mean, yeah, by a switch. mile, for sure. Yeah, switch. You can take the more pristine one. That one is way nicer than this one. It really is. Okay, I now see what you're saying as I hold the better shoe. How's the padding inside that one? I mean, I could fall asleep inside the shoe. <laughs> so my impression, feel this, feel the inside of this one. This one's a little cushiony. Cushiony? I, What's the word? I, yeah, I don't know. But I don't know. I think I agree with you that this there's a lot more cushion inside this one than inside that one. More I don't know if that's in, the cushion. That's yeah. Sorry. I don't know if that's intentional or if just I have a pair that has more, but definitely the inside here feels like it's got more padding inside. Love this colorway. They both say bodega on the inside. And the outside. This one. You're just not saying it? Yeah, no, right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Said, yeah, and then there's the tortoise print swoosh on the outside. Other than that, the shoes are mostly the same. I just hit myself with a shoe. Okay, this is actually, okay, this is kind of sick. I just noticed this as we were filming. Inside the tongue, it says hidden in plain sight. I don't Ooh, know if I you see can that. see that. But right here it says hidden in plain sight. There's like little sleeves inside. On the tongue, it says Nike Bodega, which is cool. On the inside of the tongue, it says Bodega, but- Two little pockets in there? Yeah, there's a pocket you inside. You can hold two Cheetos. It says hidden in plain sight. <laughs> I, so I love that. Cause he loves Cheetos. I right doubt now. that the designers of this shoe had Cheetos in mind. I think it was <laughs> probably something a little more nefarious, but yes, you can put two Cheetos yeah. or two not Cheetos inside of this shoe. And it's hidden in plain sight. I feel like. Oh, I get what that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, right? Second. Yeah. Wow. So hidden, hidden in plain sight. Let me just make sure that text translates there. So cool. Very cool shoe. I, I really like it. Now, I started talking earlier about the selection process to actually buy the shoe. And then I got so excited when we pulled them out that we just went straight into the review. So I do think we need to. It's in this one. Oh, I do think we need to I'll talk about sure this the. It does, yeah. So the identical bandana, and pull out the alternate laces actually. I'm, I can't remember if they're the same color or not. So these are the alternate laces for the brown pair. Ah. Oh yeah, so they are different. So brown alternate laces for these, black alternate laces for the brown pair. Cool. Yeah, you know, these leather, I mean, these are- This is so cowboy like Right, it's like a cowboy, yeah. which gives Cactus Jack vibes, but I'm still feeling Jeepers Creepersy. Ah. Cracking the whip. <laughs> All right. So inside this pair, the way I was able to get this white pair, the friends and family pair, was this pack of baseball cards. So when I unboxed it, 
There's these cards that says Nike Legacy Pack 2020. And inside there are some bodega cards. So I'm, I tried really hard to not just shred this to pieces and that obviously went very badly. Also, I was shaking as I unboxed it. I couldn't believe I got it. The process was kind of, it was a little nerve wracking because I saw these people online in some of the sneaker book, sneaker groups I'm in, TSA, Bandele, that they were emailing and not getting a response from the team. So the way it works is, and I'll just skip to the, the card, the way it works is inside the baseball cards, there's this card that has a picture of the F and F pair. And instructions on the back to email them a photo of this card and your ID. And social security number, and, date of birth. Yeah, and your firstborn. Wait. Yeah, all that. Yeah. Yeah. Show me sign. Yeah. And you email them with a picture of that and this card and then they ship you the white pair. And people were emailing them and not hearing back. So my pair was supposed to get, and on the bottom of this actually, it says void if received after January 1st, 2021. I got my pair on January 8th or January 9th. So my claim was void. They didn't arrive on time. And I emailed them and I didn't hear back for a day. So I was a little, a little worried, quite frankly. But they responded, I did get them, obviously. And you know, just a really cool way to distribute the friends and family pair of sneakers. So inside this pack of cards, there are a couple stickers. And then here is a bodega card. This is the Boston Bodega Store. And there's a, a fun fact inside, check it out. Wow, also I'm gonna say astrology sign, not astronomy, my bad. You know, I thought it was Bodega Veneta at first when you told me you got these. It's a designer too. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? Because I have, I used to have their uh, perfumes. That's what I thought it was at first. So, in case anyone else thinks the same, Bodega is a boutique shoe store, just like Kith or Undefeated or Notre Shop that sells sneakers. And Bodega is named Bodega because, as you can see here, their storefront in Boston, it actually looks like a bodega, and the back of this card. It tells a story of a robber that broke in shortly after they opened and didn't even realize that he had broken into a sneaker store. So you go into the bodega storefront in Boston. I've never been, but I've, I've read that you go into the storefront, the bodega front in Boston, and you actually enter the shoe store through a freezer or a walk-in cooler or something like that. So some crooks broke in to the bodega and didn't figure out how to get into the shoe store. So they just broke in and took like some boxes of chips or something. I don't it's know. It's like a speakeasy-ish. Yeah, yeah. It, it's the same same thing. You've gotta, you gotta know what you're in to get there. So they've got some other, other cards. There's a Dunk High card here. And neighborhood legend, Stro, part of the Bodega team. Mr. Style for Miles, the back of the card says. Hmm. The more you know. This is a so this sticker. Tupac? It's not a stro. I, 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 I know. I thought the same thing. Oh. It's stro. And then Nike Bodega. Another Bodega sticker. Here's Sophie. Oh, the, cute. Is that a pit bull? Oh, no. What is that? Is maybe that a, a Rottweiler? It's like a mix between a Rottweiler and a pit bull. I think it's a Rottweiler. That's a weird name This for is dog. Sophie, the, the shop dog. Okay. It says the biggest dog in the yard. Born January 1, 2015. Weight 200 pounds. Breed. Dog de Bordeaux, a Bordeaux. It's yeah. Fancy dog. I guess Boston lives in L.A. Eats hmm. fifty pounds per day. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Quarantine life. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, and then here is the last card: the L.A. Bodega, opened in twenty eighteen. Yeah, two sixteen twenty eighteen. Mm -hmm. So they opened a second store in Los Angeles. I hope to go. Plan to go. Obviously, after receiving this pair you and that them? pair. Keep one for yourself? I would. I mean, I want to rock a pair of these one day. I feel like this would go to my outfit right now, right? Like this color mm -hmm. way. But it, obviously, they're too big. But one day, I'm going to come on this show and be wearing, even though these aren't Jordans. My goal is to get a pair of Jordans and figure out a way to style them and wear them and feel confident in them. Okay. I feel like I'm just not like that vibe. Yeah. I want to be, but, you know. I feel like I'm too... You know, I, know. I agree with that. I recently sold a couple of the pairs of Jordans that I had. I just, 
I find myself gravitating to Air Maxes, Air Max 90, Air Max 97. I feel like it's very hard to rock a high top. For me it is, Most for people sure. can pull it off, but I feel like, I don't know, unless you wear joggers or, I don't know, I don't know. You have to have a certain swag and we have swag, but. Corporate swag, guys. yeah. I don't have good shoe swag. Hmm. We, can have good, we have good style though. Just high tops, I just don't know. Yeah. Every time I ever bought a pair, I just let them sit in my closet. I don't know, maybe one, maybe that'll be our goal of 2021 is to get a great pair of high tops. I'll just like browse the web. I'm thinking that golden gooses for me. And then- This sounds expensive, <laughs> you know, dear I mean, subscribers. I have to like, hit my goal, Click the right? like button, the subscribe <laughs> yeah. button, donate via so PayPal, Venmo. <laughs> yeah, Woo! sponsor me. Yeah, wow. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, so that wraps up the Nike Dunk High Bodega, which we do have another Sneaker Boutique exclusive pair coming. I got lucky and got a pair of the Notre Shop Dunk High, the blue pair. I struck out on the white pair. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I got shipping notification today. I got one pair and a 10 and a half. I wear an 11, both of these are 11. I, you asked a question. I wear six and a half if you want to send anything. I don't intend to wear these. For me, and I know this isn't a popular thing in sneakers. For me, I love looking at a shoe. And smelling them. I didn't smell them. We didn't. I'm glad you mentioned that. They they don't smell. There's like nothing. It smells like leather, but no, like, it doesn't. Yes, it does. This one does. I might as well be smelling the inside of a Hello Kitty coin purse. What the hell? Where did you get that reference from? I don't know, but that's that's what I smell here. There's a, there's that's nothing sucks. here. Hello Kitty coin purse. Yeah, there's nothing you must have here. Must heard that in a rap song. No, like, there's walked up here. in the. Hello Let's Kitty. With my Hello Kitty coin uh, purse. Uh, What's uh. up? Mm. It's a bodega shoe though. Okay. Yeah, I smell nothing. We probably shouldn't moonlight as rappers. That was horrendous. Caught up in the band with my Hello Kitty coin purse. It's gonna be a song. Yeah, there's no smell here. So that's a big differentiator between the Jordans and the Bodega Dunk Highs. Other than that, I'm with you. They look the same. Thank you, dear subscribers. We'll try and do another one. Maybe tomorrow during the day we'll do one. Absolutely not. I have to just get ready. See you guys in five months. Love you. Or five days. <laughs> okay, bye. Peace.